the United States played a critical role in establishing the United Nations as well as the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Uh, the first version of a sort of a rule-based international order, the League of Nations failed in part because the United States refused to take part despite Woodrow Wilson's attempts the Senate would not uh, ratify the agreement. Uh, and so at the second go around, American policymakers uh, were much more engaged uh, in creating the structure and then of course getting it passed uh, through uh, the Congress and ensuring that it was a cornerstone of the organization. And so it was instrumental, but it was a group of, of countries that created the United Nations. And then NATO itself, of course, relied extensively on a transatlantic bargain between European allies, uh, United Kingdom, the Netherlands, France, uh, to essentially uh, underwrite American economic uh, liberal hegemony uh, over the, the sort of the business and financial system in exchange for protection and security. Uh, and so that was the bargain that existed until the end of the Cold War. The World Bank and IMF emerged also out of the ashes of the Second World War to facilitate uh, development and reconstruction uh, in a uh, shape and manner that uh, the United States and Western countries deemed most appropriate. So essentially to sort of preserve a liberal democratic order with market oriented uh, economies. Uh, and it was sort of stave off the idea that um, a total decline of the economic situation in Europe and elsewhere would essentially lead to communist revolts. Uh, they evolved over time into the present organizations, uh, which again have sort of provided the economic foundations for a sort of liberal democratic order. Uh, but there's been a lot of blowback. Uh, and sometimes, uh, especially in places like Latin America, uh, the economic regime that has been imposed by these organizations, the requirements in terms of uh, how budgets are arranged and how the debt is repaid is often seen as counterproductive. Uh, and so we're seeing emerging um, sort of pushes against this from China and the Asian Development Infrastructure uh, Bank uh, is one example of that. So there's a shift now uh, in who's providing the money. It's not just from the global north or from the west.